good evening, um, good afternoon, or good morning. Um, hello to all of you who are taking the AP U.S. History. Uh, to moms and dads, hello as well. Um, hopefully you all were at the summer meeting, and if you weren't at the summer meeting, that's okay, uh, because we're going to uh, be sending along to you uh, your, your syllabus and some information about the class, but uh, we were instructed that we should take some time to make a five minute presentation about our class. So, since this is AP US History, I thought to myself, what is the best place to film a video about AP US History and the class? Well, I'm here at Gettysburg on my anniversary. Um, I'm at the high water mark. This is where the Confederate Army got the closest um, to winning the Civil War, um, but it lost. Uh, and out in the distance, you can see a young man swinging his gun uh, as the Confederate Army is coming up uh, Cemetery Hill here, and that's where we're at is Cemetery Hill. Um, I thought this would be a, a good place to talk to you about AP US history. Um, you already have some ideas uh, if you were at the meeting, but if you weren't at the meeting, here, here are some ideas. Uh, the idea is we're going to be doing a lot of writing, we're going to be doing a lot of reading, and we're going to be doing a lot of thinking. I know, <laughs> we're doing a lot of everything. Uh, but it's really good because this is going to really prepare you for college. After this class, there's going to be nothing, that, and I mean nothing, that will be as challenging as this class. But once you get through this class, you're going to be an amazing student. Uh, and I can't, I can't stress to you, watching every school year as students start out and they're just like, wow, this just is just so hard and overwhelming. But then it, it, it doesn't get quite easier, but it gets better. Uh, writing gets better. Your reading gets better. Um, I would strongly recommend still for you to actively read. Uh, if you haven't already been doing it, uh, we're going to talk about it, uh, whether we're in person or if we are online. Uh, but we're going to talk more about active reading. Uh, and I'll have you guys do another active reading assignment. Uh, just kind of give you guys some practice on that. Um, the key concept with the active reading is that instead of you just reading the book, we want you to work with the information and we want you to be able to not just remember it for five minutes or for a day, but to remember it for literally until at least May <laughs> uh, when we take the test. Uh, there won't be an exam uh, at the end because um, you're taking the exam in May. Uh, that will be more than enough. Uh, the class uh, that we take um, is going to have testing that will be very similar to the AP. Um, I alternate the test so that there is sometimes an all short answer test. Sometimes there's a mobile choice test which is different when you talk about AP and other times we'll have an essay test. Sometimes there will be a blend of all three of those different elements. Uh, but the concept is we're going to get you ready for doing this thing called AP US History. Um, along the way, you know, there will be definitely difficult times at times, uh, but I'll help you guys through that. Uh, please understand we do have a midterm, we will have a midterm, um, but on that midterm, it'll be one of the few tests that we take, well, the only test we take, uh, which will be curved uh, because of the fact that you've never taken a test like this, and it is still an exam, so, I want to make sure I curve it. Um, some things that we might want to talk about right now, uh, we do have uh, the idea of this thing called um, uh, soapstones, and we're going to be working on that skill because it's a part of both your um, both your um, your essay writing as well as also the uh, definitely your DBQs. Uh, DBQs are document-based questions, and we'll talk a lot about those. Um, please make sure you understand that, yeah, we're going to uh, definitely be doing some writing and definitely need to do your very best uh, on everything. Uh, at first, it won't always be what you think you want for a score, um, but it'll be something that demonstrates the fact that 
yeah, you probably have never written like this before. Um, will it be challenging? Sure. Uh, will we get through it together? Yeah, you will. Uh, please remember that um, anything that's 80% or above, uh, we do give a 10% boost on your um, final grade. Um, and so an 80% would be a 90%, an 85% would be a 95%, and oh, if you get a 90%, oh, that's just an A minus. Oh no, that on your GPA is 100%. Um, please understand, I know that all universities will take the weighted grade. Uh, some will, uh, and a lot of them will take into account that you took AP US History, which, once again, they know what AP US History is. Um, hopefully, prayfully, um, unlike last year, we get here. Um, that's my goal, my hope. Uh, that in March we'll be traveling out here. Um, if not, um, we won't. Uh, I, I, I'd, like, I'd like to pretend like things aren't different now, uh, but they are, um, and uh, we may not get here. But if we do, I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait to come here and have you guys with us. Uh, it's beautiful here. Uh, you can just kind of see a little bit of in the, in the video. Um, it's a beautiful place. Um, Make sure you guys have your device. Uh, if we're in person, uh, I am not opposed to still giving you guys printed materials. Um, I think it's still effective, and if we're in person, that's fine. Uh, if you tend, to, if you are going to be one of those people that will be online, um, I'll post stuff over to your uh, Google Drive. Um, but please understand, overall, the instruction will still be in OneNote. So when I invite you to OneNote, please make sure you take take up that invitation and do what you've done in the past for OneNote. Uh, I will also invite you to Google uh, as well. Um, trying to think, uh, definitely you would like to have a, you know your books. You need your books. Uh, if we're in class and if we're in, in, in person, I'll try to remind you which ones you need. Uh, we won't have you bring them all. Um, and uh, yeah. A uh, highlighter wouldn't be bad. Um, certainly, pen, pen, and pen, pencil if you are writing. If not, bringing your device charged and ready to go. Um, if we're online, uh, just a reminder: if we're online, uh, really hard last year, uh, at least with my U.S. history classes, where people would just go back black screen. Uh, you'd see their name, and that's it. Please understand there's participation and some people got real ticked off with me and say hey mr schmidt what happened to my participation grade it's really low uh well for one you weren't visible you i didn't even see you and what happened and what tended to happen is when you were invisible a lot of people didn't participate uh the only people that participated were still visible um so yeah please understand you get a participation grade in this class um, and especially if we're online this year, uh, I'm going to weight it a little bit heavier than I did before. Uh, it'll be probably 30 points rather than 20, or could be as high as 40. Uh, trying to get across the point that, uh, especially if we're in person, the idea is I want you guys to read up front. I want you guys to participate. Uh, you guys are a small enough class that we should be able to gather together and, and, and have some great conversation. Uh, that's what I like. That's what I, I, I prefer for my AP students to do. I want you guys to be thinking on your feet um, And we'll definitely have some debates to help change that as well um, So I'm wrapping this up. I know I was only supposed to be five minutes I'm sure it's a little bit more. Mrs. Schmidt's starting to nod her head. So I'm guessing it is um, And uh, one last quick view of Gettysburg. It's getting pretty dark here now and uh, Yeah, I hope you guys all come to school uh, if not, we'll definitely have a webcam ready to catch catch those of you that aren't there. Um, and uh, please, please attend class, uh, whether it's uh, online or in person. Uh, we've had people in the past that have tried not to attend class and try to treat it like it's a regular class. Uh, I can tell you from experience, uh, the best scores they get is twos and they tend to be getting C's and D's in the class because they're not there. Um, this is a college level class, guys. You need to be there, whether you're doing the online or if you're going to be there in person. All right, guys, have a great day, mom and dad. Please email me if you have any questions at jeff.schmidt 
uh, at PCA.com. Uh, um, I'll be more than happy to answer questions. Uh, please make sure you guys are working on this summer assignment and you guys are ready to go when it's done uh, when we get into class, whether it's in person or online. All right, guys. Have a great day, great evening, and hope to see you guys soon. Bye.